Bhagavad Gita, text 4.6 Although I myself am birthless and by nature imperishable, and although I am the controller of all beings, nevertheless, remaining in control of my material energy, I manifest by my own inner power. The later part of this verse can also read, Nevertheless, being situated, Adishtaya, in my own form, Prakritim Swam. In this rendering, Prakriti refers not to Krishna's material energy, but rather to his own identity or nature. Shridha Swami says, Resorting to my own Prakriti, which is made of Shuddha Sattva, transcendence, implying the divine nature of Krishna's form. Ramanuja concurs, as does Jiva Goswami in his Krishna Sandarbha 105. In either case, the purport is the same. Krishna's form and descent are not tinged with material qualities for he descends in a spiritual form under the influence of his primary Shakti. Madhusudan Saraswati offers a different purpose to the above translation in conformance with Advaita Vat. At the same time, he acknowledges that others, however, do not admit that there is a relationship of the body and possessor, of the body in the case of the Supreme Lord, but that he is Vasudeva, eternal, omnipresent, existence, knowledge, bliss, true and true, full, unconditioned, and the Supreme Self. He is himself that body, and it is not anything material or made of Maya. Showing regard for this Vaishnava interpretation, he makes no effort to refute it. In accordance with Vaishnava theology, this verse, as rendered above clearly, distinguishes Krishna's secondary Shakti, Prakriti, material nature, which he controls from his own inner nature, or primary Shakti, Atma, Mayaya which he allows himself to come under the influence of. Krishna's primary Shakti, by which the affairs of the Avatara are carried out, is introduced for the first time in this verse. Krishna's primary Shakti is mentioned again in chapter 9 with regard to his unalloyed devotees coming under its influence. Bhagavad Gita 9.13 this Shakti enables God, in his appearance in the material world, to be in the world, but not of it. As the influence of Krishna's secondary Shakti is deluding, the influence of his primary Shakti is enlightening. However, this primary Shakti also deludes in a positive sense in the course of bringing a soul to the senate of enlightened life. It does so by suppressing the knowledge of Krishna's Godhood in the interest of intimate loving dealings between Krishna and the liberated Jiva soul. It makes Krishna appear human-like in spite of his Godhood. In order that the finite soul might intimately associate with the infinite, the infinite appears finite, even while remaining infinite. This takes place under the influence of Krishna's primary Shakti. Although Krishna says that he has passed through many births, here he qualifies this statement by explaining that he is at the same time birthless, for birth takes place under the jurisdiction of the material energy, whereas his appearance is not under her 
jurisdiction. The birth of Krishna is a complete subject. He is born, but he is not born. Krishna has already taught that all souls are unborn. Bhagavad Gita 2.20 While they appear to undergo birth when they identified with material bodies. In order to distinguish himself from the jiva souls, Krishna says further that his form and nature are imperishable, avya yatma. Even though he is birthless, and even though his nature and form are imperishable, he appears to take birth. Yet his appearance is not a product of piety or impiety, the force of karma carrying one into a future life. This is so because even though he takes birth as if he were one of the living beings, he remains the controller of the destiny, karma, of all living beings. Bhutanam Ishwaraha. Krishna appears in the world of our existence just as the sun appears to take birth at sunrise. He appears by his own influence as an act of mercy, Atma Mayaya. Another meaning of the word Maya is mercy. Before Arjuna could ask, if you are birthless and imperishable, when and why would you choose to appear in this world of birth and death? Krishna answers in the following two verses. <laughs> 